Hello everyone! This is Sir James, ay yung virtual math teacher. Ngayong araw ay pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa solving problems involving partitive proportion using block model. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, ay mahalagang malaman muna natin kung ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng partitive proportion. Partitive proportion, a whole is divided into parts that is proportional to the given ratio. Dito sa proportion na ito, meron tayong whole o kabuuan kung saan hinati-hati into parts into a given ratio. So, paano nga ba mag-solve ng word problems involving partitive proportion using block model? So, I have here a word problem. As I read, Anna saved 105 pesos from her weekly allowance. She shared it to her younger brother and sister in a ratio of 2 is to 3. How much did each of them get? So let us analyze the problem. So to solve this problem, we need first to have a ratio of her brother and sister. So for her brother, that is 2 parts or that is 2 blocks while her sister gets 3 parts or 3 blocks. Now since the total amount of money that Anna saved is 105 pesos, therefore, we need to distribute 105 pesos equally in each block. So if there are 100, or that is, there are 5 blocks, we need to divide 105 pesos by 5 blocks. So, 105 divided by 5 is equal to 21 pesos. Ibig sabihin, each block is equivalent to 21 pesos. Another 21 pesos. For her sister, that is 21 pesos plus 21 pesos plus 21 pesos. Now, to answer the question, how much did each of them get? So for his brother or for her brother, that is 21 pesos plus 21 pesos is equal to 42 pesos. While for her sister, that is 21 plus 21 plus 21, a total of 63 pesos. So therefore, again, for her brother, that is 42 pesos and for her sister, that is 63 pesos. So in a partitive proportion, a whole number is divided into parts that is proportional to the given ratio. For our next example, the ratio of boys to girls in grade 6 joy is 3 is to 5. There are 40 pupils in the class. How many boys are there in the grade 6 joy? So our whole is 40 pupils. Well, our given ratio is 3 is to 5. So again, to solve this problem, we need to have a ratio of boys to the ratio of girls. Boys, that is 3 parts, or that is 3 blocks, while the girls is 5 parts, or 5 blocks. Next, given, there are 40 pupils in the class. So all in all, so the total of boys to girls there is 40 pupils. How many boys are there in grade 6 joy? So, we need to distribute 40 equally into each block. So, how many blocks are there in all? We have 8. So therefore, we need to divide 40 by 8 blocks. So, 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5. So, each block is equivalent to 5. This is 5, 5, 5. For the girls, we have 5, 5, and 5. So the question is, how many boys are there in grade 6 joy? So the number of boys is 5 plus 5 plus 5, or that is 5 times 3 is equal to 15. While the girls is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, or that is 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So again, the number of boys is 15 and the number of girls is 25. But the question is, 
how many boys are there in grade 6 joy so the number of boys is 15 our answer is 15 for problem number 3 as i read Mankata is raising ducks, chickens, and turkeys in a ratio of 4 is to 2 is to 3. When he counted his animals, it totaled 270. How many chicken has Mankato? So therefore, we need again to make a ratio of ducks, chickens, and turkeys. For ducks, we have 4 parts, or that is... Four blocks. For chickens, we have two parts. Well, for the turkeys, is three parts. Next, given when he counted his animals, it totaled 270. So therefore, the total number of animals, ducks, chickens, and turkeys, is equal to 270. So in order to find for the number of each block, so we need to distribute 270 equally into each block. So if there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 blocks, we need to divide 270 by 9 blocks. So 270 divided by 9 is equal to 30. If it's a BN, each block is equivalent to 30. Therefore, this one is equal to 30, 30, 30, and 30. Also, with the number of chickens, we have 30, 30. But the question is, how many chickens has Mankarto? So the number of chickens are 30 plus 30 is equal to 60. Therefore, our answer is there are 60 chickens. For our next example, as I read the problem, a grade 6 lab collected plastic bottles for their fundraising project. The boys collected 3 plastic bottles for every 5 plastic bottles that the girls collected. After a month, the girls collected 24 more bottles than the boys. How many bottles were collected in all? So again, we need to make a ratio of boys to the ratio of girls. So for the boys, they have 3 plastic bottles. 3 parts or 3 blocks. While for the girls, have five parts or five blocks. Now in the given situation, after a month, the girls collected 24 more bottles than the boys. The question is, who collected more bottles? Yes, the girls collected more bottles. By how much? By 24 bottles. Or in the given ratio, how many more blocks are there for the girls? Or I should say, in the given ratio, how many more blocks are there for the girls than the boys? So there are two more blocks that the girls has than boys. So we need to put equally 24 bottles into two blocks. So that is 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. So if it's a BN, each block is equivalent to 12. So this one is 12 and this one is 12. So if each block is 12, then ang lahat ng ating blocks ay 12. Then, to find for the number of bottles that the boys has, that is 12 plus 12 plus 12 that is equals to 36 bottles while for the girls they collected 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 or 12 times 5 that is equals to 60 bottles to answer the question 
how many bottles were collected in all so we're going to add the number of bottles that the boys collected to the number of bottles that the girls collected also so we have 36 plus 60 is equals to 96 bottles so our answer for this problem is there are 96 bottles in all next example the ratio of math books to english books is 2 is to 3 if the sum of these books is 165 how many books of each kind are there so again we need to have a ratio of math books that is two parts or two blocks to english books that is three parts or three blocks now if the sum of these books is 165 then we need to distribute 165 equally into each block so if there are five blocks all in all we need to divide 165 by five blocks that is 165 divided by 5 is equal to 33 meaning each block is equivalent to 33 so if the question is how many books of each kind are there so for mathematics we have 33 plus 33 is equal to 66 while for English books that is 33 plus 33 plus 33 or that is 33 times 3 is equal to 99 books so our answer mathematics books is equal to 66 while the English books that is equal to 99 last example the ratio of grade 4 grade 5 and grade 6 learners attending the Lingonang Wika program is 4 is to 2 is to 3 if their total is 162 how many grade 6 learners are attending the program so again we need to have a ratio of grade grade 4 grade 5 and grade 6 so grade 4 that is four parts or four blocks for grade five that is two parts or two blocks and for the grade six that is three bar parts or three blocks now the next given situation if their total is 162 so the total number of learners from grades four to six is 162 we need to distribute 162 equally into each block so count the total number of blocks we have nine blocks so therefore we need to divide 162 by nine blocks so 162 divided by 9 is equals to 18 so therefore each block is equivalent to 18. So to answer the question, how many grade 6 learners are attending the program? So for the grade 6 alone, that is 18 plus 18 plus 18, that is 18 times 3 is equals to 54. So therefore, our answer for this problem is there are 54 grade 6 learners who attended the program. Hanggang dito na lamang, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa araw na ito. Maraming salamat! Paalam!